Hey guys, Ryan Jensen, Bob Hurley RV. Today we're looking at the 2022 Renegade Valencia 35 MB Super C motorhome. Man, these are popular. We get these on the lot and they fly off the lot out here. Everybody wants the Renegade product. And I'm gonna show you a few things as the reason why today. This is a 35 footer, 36 foot bumper to bumper. You know, if you're like, hey, I wanna get into the, the shorter uh, towing, I wanna go into the parks, the, the, you know, the, the smaller park. Uh, areas you can do that in this unit. So this is the smallest one that they make in the Renegade line, 35 footer, um, very you know a little bit smaller floor plan, but very versatile and has some really cool cool things. So let's go ahead and go into the the cab here. I'll show you a few things. Number one, this is a Freightliner chassis, 6.7 liter. Um, these things drive great. They've got a great feel going down the road. They're smooth. Um, nice big open area here. They do have the air cushion seats, so these actually go up as you stand up and they sit down, kind of air cushion as you go, but it just makes it a little more comfy. Um, obviously, you do have automatic leveling there. There's your air brake suspension there. These actually have what you call the Garmin system up front here. So this is actually a little iPad that you can pull off and take with you. You know, so if you're you work in the GPS, I can take this into the kitchen and still you know monitor the GPS from the kitchen. So that's a cool feature. Your radio system, GPS, and everything is is built on that system. So um, other than that, pretty standard chassis up here for the Super C. I'm going to go and head back here. Obviously, right up above me here, you have the nice big bunk area. Um, every Valencia is going to have that but still good size and big for again the 35 footer that goes up and down there on its own and then you do have a little corner tv in back with some more storage over here in the corner as well notice we've got some speakers right above there as well for the sound system let's go ahead and head this direction here notice you do have a monster residential refrigerator in here just a really nice big size you do have an ice maker in the freezer up there and a nice big refrigerator area on bottom. I like the residentials because they cool down a lot quicker and they're a lot bigger than the old school traditional propane ones are. Heading into the kitchen here, first off, let's check out your control panel. Um, I love these because they're very easy to see, nice and big. All your lights and everything are on one switch. Your generator is right there as well. This does have an 8,000 watt generator to run uh, two ACs as well. And then you've got you know your slide outs, fans, AC is all of the above right in there, so that's nice. Uh, let's check out your just your burners real quick. You got for, you got a three burner stove top here with the solid surface countertops and the covers. Uh, pretty good amount of countertop space in here. You know, in a motorhome, sometimes these get the shaft, but a lot of countertop space, a lot of options there for cooking. You also have a nice big convection microwave in there. Uh, quite a bit of storage here on top if we can get that. Notice that's just nice. Uh, nice holds open on its own and then more storage in there for pantry all of your drawers are easy assist drawers i'm going to open the second one here so notice full wood all the way around and the metal glides and then there are self-assisting shuts there so i like those you're never going to slam a door and they shut on their own so that's kind of cool and that's all the way through the coach you've also got some additional storage in there and then storage underneath the oven that's actually a fuse box that's where a fuse box area is and then you've got some more storage underneath your kitchen area here as well so quite a bit in the kitchen you know again this is a shorter unit but they really maximize the storage here in the kitchen and then over here on your right you've got a booth dinette that's actually uh, an easy assisting table there's a clip you pull and this will go down into a bed um, but those are nice and comfy i like that uh, the kind of the corner uh, seats they make there and then you've got a, a full pull out couch here as well so Pretty standard, kind of like a bunkhouse, but you do pick up the extra, the bed up top and then the couch and then the booth. So you can sleep six to eight in here pretty comfortably, you know, depending on how big the kiddos are and, and how many people are coming with you. Um, so that's your living area. This only, this has two slides on board. As we go in here real quick, notice you do have a nice big pull out TV. Check this out, the soundbar, soundbar goes with the TV. That's pretty cool. I don't think I've ever seen that before, but when you pull that TV out, soundbar comes too and you can uh, you know, angle this and direct this wherever you want to, even in the kitchen, you can get a pretty good angle of this TV. So I love that, that's a really cool feature. Heading back to the bedroom here, you make a quick stop here, this is where your washer and dryer goes. That gives you a stack, and I like that in a Class C. Again, 35 foot Super C with a stackable washer dryer is a heavily desired thing to have, and you do have that on board, so that's a great option. And then walking back here, this is a one bathroom unit. Your sink is actually here on the right and nice big storage there you've got three drawers that goes all the way down and then you have storage under the sink as well and then you've got uh, obviously a little bit of countertop space here with an extra control panel there so two control panels on board and then your bathroom there is a you've actually got a sliding door right here that closes and opens and then you've got a corner shower pretty general corner shower with the toilet right there 
Um, I like the big walkthrough bathrooms because you pick up a little more space in here and both these doors do shut. So this door shuts, that door shuts. You've got your washer dryer, sink and bathroom in one area and it's path through so both sides can access it. Heading back to the bathroom here, to the bedroom, sorry, you've got pretty good amount of storage in here. So this is kind of an area you can put DVDs or Xboxes and then you have storage there. Additional storage down below. Again, everything is easy assisting on those drawers. They close on your right here. If you can kind of get a view of that, you've got that uh, wardrobe storage on both sides there. And then you've got additional storage down here as well. Additional wardrobe storage. I love that. I wish that every manufacturer had thought about that because you pick up really three big storage doors. I mean, if, if you get a pan from right where I'm at right now, there's a storage everywhere back here. So again, I'm, I'm thinking I'm in a 35 footer, I'm saving space, I'm towing less, but man, you've got a ton of storage all the way through here. So great layout back here with, with they've really maximized their storage. This is a walk around queen bed back here. You do have USB ports and, and uh, power outlets on both sides of the bed with the stations there. Put your phones, wallets, keys on those. You've got storage overhead on this bed as well. And this is kind of cool. If you can see this, you've got a little control panel right here above your bed and that is where your generator is and all of your lights are in here you can turn your lights off and on water pump ceiling right there and then uh, obviously the stop stop and start gen right there so i've never seen that either that's a very cool idea again we are in the 2022 renegade valencia 35 mb it's available now bob hurley rv come check it out